Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Barakothu Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. <clears throat> I would love to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our true spiritual teachers. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers in all sincerity pushing his work throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel and Shalom to the hopeful elect. All the praises and glory goes to our Heavenly Father and His begotten Son, Yehoshai. Amen. I would like to name this video. It's like a vision I had or a dream. I dream about rest. Or I could name it, um, I dream of Jacob's Ladder. And it was two brothers in the dream, right? Two brothers. <clears throat> I'm going to call their names in a minute. Two brothers clearly in the dream, right? And it was so peaceful because I, we pray that we are chosen because rest is a lovely feeling. Peace, tranquility is a great feeling. This is how it started, right? I'm going to try not to drag this out. I was sitting down, eating with a brother at this table. And the environment around us was bright as day. It was crystal clear, yeah? And the brother's face was so well lit. And we was there eating. And the brother's name is um, Brother Shakal. We are eating, right? And it was so bright. Then, you know, dreams, it chops and changes. Then suddenly, we are sitting again at a table with other people. But this time, the environment was dark. It was gloomy. And there was this Edomite woman sitting beside me. And she wasn't, but it wasn't, it was a feeling of, she wasn't welcomed, right? Because the whole place was dark, but we were sitting at this table. So I'm wondering, where did she come from? And then it changed again straight away. Then I found myself standing at the bottom of these steps, right? And these steps are so wide. <coughs> these steps are so wide, right? Now remember, everything is crystal, crystal, crystal clear. These steps are so wide. So I said to myself, I didn't look up. So I said, oh, let me climb these steps. All right. So when I made the first step, I decided to look up. I said, wow. These steps go right up into the clouds. Way, way up into the clouds. I couldn't see the top. All I could see is that the, the steps was wide and heading way into the clouds. So anyway, I don't know how I made it to the top. I don't know how I made it up there, but I managed to meet, meet, be at the top. So when I got to the top now, I saw the brother Shakal again, writing on the blackboard, right? I don't know if somebody could interpret this. <laughs> he was writing on a blackboard, all right? Now, when I saw him writing on the blackboard, now this place that we... When I got to the top of the ladder, it felt nice up there. It felt peaceful. But he was writing on a blackboard. And I was reading what he was writing, and it was so lovely. The words he was writing were so nice. And I read it, understood it. But when I, looked, when I woke up and tried to remember it, I could not remember it. Yeah? So when he was writing, all of a sudden, the other brother came up. Right? Bro brother... 
Rat is a muff, okay? And he walked up and his face looked so peaceful, all right? And as soon as he'd finished writing on the, on the blackboard, it could have been a board, I don't know, it didn't have to be a blackboard, but he had something in his hand, like a chalk, all right? And as soon as he finished writing, I said to the brother, to both of them, I said, oh, that's nice. How often we should come here, right? Then straight away, the brother, Rataza Amaf, said, we come here every day. And that is what I heard clearly. And when he said that, my face lit up because it was a nice feeling because what whatever the brother Shakal was writing on the board, it looked nice. It was peaceful. Right? And then the brother said, we come here every day. Then I a one rush of peace, right, came into my spirit. And that was the end of the dream, yeah? So, Lord willing, brothers and sisters and children, rest is a, a thing to look forward to. Peace. Peace. We hope and pray that we make it. All right? So I'm going to go to the, the book of Genesis. <coughs> The book of Genesis, chapter 28, I'm going to try and read through fast. Start from 10. Jacob, Jacob dreams of a ladder reaching to heaven. Yeah? And Jacob went out from Bathsheba and went toward Haran. He lighted up a certain place. And tarried there all night. Because the sun was set. And he took of the stones. Of the pl that place. And put them. For his pillars. And lay down in that place. To sleep. And he dreamed. And beheld. Behold. A ladder set up on the earth. And the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of Yahweh ascended and descending on it and behold the Lord stood above it and said I am the Lord our power of Abraham thy father and thy power of Isaac the land whereon thou liest to thee will I give it and to thy seed and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth and thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south and in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed and behold I am with thee and will keep thee in all places, whether thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. Um, I could read on more. All right, let me just finish it then, yeah? And Jacob awakened out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful this, this place. This is none other but the house of Yahweh. And, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put on his pillows and set it for a pillow and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel. 
And I think that word Bethel, I have to double check it, it means the house of Yahweh, right? It is a spiritual hotspot. I made a little note here, but I should I should have double checked that, yeah? And he called the name of that place Bethel, but this name of the city was called Luz at the first. I'm going to finish now. And Jacob vowed a vow saying, if Yahweh will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on so that I come again to my father's house in peace. Then shall the Lord our power uh, sorry, then shall the Lord be our power. The last verse here, 22. And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be Yahweh's house. And of all that which shall give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee. So that was just my very, um, that was my little testimony. A dream of peace, right? And because I saw the ladder, the, 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 the steps, you know, and I just thought about, you know, Jacob's ladder. So Lord willing, Lord willing, we're going to be at peace soon. Lord willing, okay? So I hope and pray, I hope and pray that this is edifying, okay? But it felt lovely. And I never forget what the brother says. We should come here every day. Every day. Shalom.